Hey there, y'all. Disney D. Prince here today with another Monster High unboxing. Today we have the brand new Claudine Wolf Bedroom Playset by Mattel. I picked mine up at Amazon for $42.99. I did pre-order it. It shipped pretty quickly. It wasn't supposed to get here till like the middle of November. It got here really early today here in October. It was great because I am looking forward to this set. Now, as you can see, it's not a window box. There is not a side that has uh, like the plastic. So I'm hoping everything is kind of economical in here and it's not a ton of like plastic staples that you have to remove or anything. But this is very cool. And before I forget, I'm going to show you all the UPC for this playset. It is very cool. It is popped up, does pop up on Amazon pretty easily. I haven't seen it in stores yet. Now, this is the second Monster High playset that we've gotten so far. The first one, of course, being the Coffin Bean. But this looks great because I am so here for more like Monster High themed furniture because it's just great. It's just kitschy most of the time. So let's take a look at what's inside. So I love the uh, more like economical packing because there's no point to all those other things. So we're gonna take it out, I'll show you everything that comes in it. So there it is, that's everything that comes out of the box. It has an interior box and it's great. The bed comes out as one piece. It is already assembled. It has a little paper bag. So this is a plastic free packaging, y'all. Like that's great. I am so here for this. Um, so our bed came out and it is like, for some reason, not entirely plastic free. There's this little rubber band that's holding the chair on, but this is such a cute chair, y'all. Like, it spins. It's got tree trunk legs. It's got, like, furry moons. Uh, those moons are a little bent weird, but a couple of seconds under the hairdryer will fix that. Um, but it's so cute. Like, look at that. It's spinning. What kid in a dorm room wouldn't love that? Actually, in dorm rooms, they give you the anti-slower slide chairs that rock back and forth so you can't do that. They think it's a secret, but it's not a secret. We know that's why they do. Uh, so in our first little package, there was no instructions, by the way. So here is our very cute little mini fridge. So it does open, and it's got stuff inside. They stored all of our stuff that we were going to put on our shelves inside this. Like, that's great. So here's our little mini fridge. It does have some shelves, or like a freezer. It's got some claw marks on it. It's got a photo of the gang right there, looking cute. Nothing much to the back. It does have some feet, so that's good. And inside, we had some molded books that have like some claw marks taken out and like teeth marks. So very cute to go on like our little shelf back there. We have this kind of cool like neon light in a uh, with a wolf howling at the moon inside of a moon we've got of course a bottle of moon juice as you can see there's a little decal on there with some very typical claudine wolf spikes very cool we've got a little skull like bookend, like the Monster High skull, I guess. We do have a poof to sit somebody else on, so that's great. We've got an ice cream sandwich type thing in the shape of a bone, so that's always fun. We have our Monster High laptop, the first laptop that we've seen so far. We had a gaming system with the, the Target exclusive Gulia, but this is the first laptop that we've seen. And it's done in a hexagon, so that's kind of fun. Give you a little bit more of a close-up on that desktop in there. 
Very cool, very customized to Claudine. So it's not just a Monster High laptop. And we have this little cute paw throw pillow. Also very fun. Now the other pillow, this circular pillow back here, is molded into the bed. And we're gonna take a closer look at the bed here in just a few. I wanna get all of this stuff out first so I can get rid of the stuff that's here on the front. Um, so everything is out of our bag now. I love this. This is how I wish all toys were packaged, y'all. Like just the amount of microplastics that we'd save on. So here is our very cute little mirror. It is a working mirror right there. So as you can see my shelves a little bit. Um, very cute. We're gonna set that off to the back. We do have some stickers that you can put wherever you want. Like we've got another uh, copy of the one that's on our mini fridge. We've got a little like photo spread one with her and Laguna. A bunch of paw prints, a customized version of the Monster High skull, and lots of like little bandages and like crossbones. It's very cute. I wouldn't personally use this to put on the mirror, but it can add some like details to that. I think if anything, I would take the photos and I would cut them out. So they're not stickers, but more like actual photos. We do have these glow in the dark stars that just hook on to our bed frame right there. Very easily, they don't fight you. And of course, our big furry blanket that looks like she uh, scalped Scully for Monsters Hot or Monster Inc. But it's very cute. The moon on the back does kind of prevent you from like, uh, what's the word? Draping it over both sides, but it's still very fun. So we got two food items total. We got three items of decor, which is great. We got our mini fridge, our little poof, our chair, our bed, and the mirror. So all in all, I think this is a great set, but let's take a closer look at some things. What do y'all think? Okay. So as I said, there's not much to the mirror. It does have this little stand here at the back. So you can lay it flush or you can just stand it up like this and then it will stand up on its own which is great. I would use this for other like Barbie mirrors and things. I'm trying not to blind the audience um, with that. Um, again, the chair is perfect. It's very cute. Mine is a little bent, but I'm okay with that. I'll fix it in post. Um, let me show you how Miss Claudine herself sits in it. So she doesn't fold her, she doesn't bend her knees entirely, which I think is a little bit of a waste, but especially with dolls that actually have articulation, but she looks super cute in it. Like it fits, she drapes her hair over the back. She's got enough room. There's enough room to put like Deuce in there, which I didn't take Deuce out, uh, but just trust me, there's gonna be enough room. It does look like these come off, technically, but I don't want to take them off because there's little, like, plugs in the bottom. But still very cute. We're going to take our water bottle and put it in there, along with our ice cream sandwich. That can all also wind up in our cafe. We could put the little claw pillow on the chair if we wanted. So the claw pillow is kind of fun. It is detailed on the back as well. So that's nice. And then let's take a look at the rest of this bed. So we do have two shelves. 
So the back of this is supposed to double as a desk because we can put our laptop right there and you can either sit on the poof or you can sit on the actual chair. Let me show y'all what I mean. I don't think she's gonna fit under the desk. Well, I mean, she does. She can fit right there, as I show you guys. So, I mean, she fits. It's a little bit, I would have rather them have made this just a, like a centimeter or two higher, I think would have been great. But we've also got our very cute little um, bulletin board. I wish they had given us copies of all of these photos on the stickers like they did. Because the Scaris photo is in there three times. It's on the mini fridge, it's on the board, and it's on our sticker sheet. There's also the Ghouls, Boo York, and then the Laguna one that we got in there. But we put our little bookshelf there. We put our little light fixture there. We put our little... Uh, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be just like a bookend or something. It's kind of random to include the little skull. It's almost the same version that we got in the cafe, or like the coffin bean, which held the little like bird. I think I would have rather have seen another one of those, but Claudine's pet isn't a bird or like a bat kind of thing that would need that where it would need that. But it's very cool. And again, it looks like all of these just kind of snap off like the bulletin board does at least. So on the inside of that, we actually have a TV. So it can be a little like lounge TV kind of thing. So that's kind of fun where she can just do that and we could keep our stuff up here kind of open. So that's fun. It's like a little hidden gem that you gotta discover for yourself. Of course, on the back of her headboard, we have the Phases of the Moon, which is very fun, very spooky spiritual. I do kind of wish that this uh, moon came off just because it's not really to my taste. They did the, like, the trees. That would have been enough. I wish they had done it on all four. But it's still kind of fun. So you get a two-in-one with the bulletin board and the TV. Like, she can watch TV in bed. Let me show you all how she fits in this bed. Because sometimes doll beds are just right. For their dolls and they're not gonna fit like other doll brands so as you can see right here if I put her head right at the top she's got maybe an inch or maybe you know three or four centimeters of space down there which is not the worst I've seen for a doll bed like Barbie's feet hang off most of her doll beds so for Mattel I feel like this is pretty good but it's still very fun. I would have loved to have seen... Oh, and this is actually molded on the back, so that's very cool. I would have loved to have seen them give us curtains since they gave us a canopy frame up here. I would have loved to have seen them include curtains. They generally like to do that with Barbie furniture. But, again, very cool. And we could just put her little pillow with her. The poof, I'm a little disappointed with. Like, it's an extra chair, yes. But there's no way to really secure your doll on it. Oh, sorry, her glasses. She doesn't have ears in her regular ear spot, so you kind of have to secure her glasses. Once you take that uh, rubber band off, you have to secure it in her hair. Like, in her actual, like, hairline, where it's thicker so it'll actually stay in, uh, but 
I'm gonna show you all how she sits on the poof. She's got so much hair that she like kind of propels herself off the floor. So she can sit on the poof. It's not a big deal. It's just one of those things that's like, she's not gonna be super stable if she sits on the poof. But it's very fun. Like, I'm not mad at that. It's just like one of those things that I'm like, eh, they could have given us something else. I love the mirror. I think that's a great choice to include because we don't often get a ton of doll mirrors. As you can see, she's not a vampire. She sees her own reflection. Um, the mini fridge was a little bit of a weird include that feels much more like college-y. But I do like that you have somewhere to put like the food that comes with her. And this is going to be a great set because the next line that's going to be released is the Creepover dolls that are already showing up in the stores and available for like pre-order up on Amazon and Entertainment Earth already. But until those come out, which I will be reviewing those, especially Twyla, I'm really looking forward to Twyla. Um, this is kind of a, one of those sets that you're like, oh yeah, you can put them in there and they'll have a fun thing. But, um, it's a little bit odd, but they do have the dorms. So I guess a mini fridge kind of works. It's like a coffin. It doesn't feel like they put as much effort into the mini fridge compared to the rest of the set. Like it's just shaped like a coffin. Like, you have this big open space for the mini fridge door, which I'm like, you couldn't figure out a way to do that. And it's because they make it coffin-shaped. The uh, Draculaura's playset, like the, the glam kit thing that comes with her, ran into the same problem. When you make a coffin shape like this, it doesn't open flush. When you have this, uh, when you have a flat hinge, it wants to open this way to where it won't stay on the floor. If they were going to include a hinge like this, I wish they would have done it on the big coffin playset. Which I'm like, I don't know if Mattel developed this hinge after the fact or after that one had already been in production. Or not, but, like, I would have loved to have seen these hinges on the big Draculaura playset. Well, it's not even really a playset. It's a, it's a makeup kit thing, but it doubles as her bed. It's very weird. I put all of my accessories in it for Monster High. Um, but this looks great. It is, I feel, maybe a little overpriced considering a doll doesn't come with it. And they've been sitting all at the same price point. But it's still fun. You don't get nearly as much as you get with the coffin bean. But the bed is a much bigger piece. So, and I love that I didn't have to put anything together. I did not have to cut a single little plastic tie. Nothing. There was no plastic waste that went into this unboxing. And I am super happy about that. Like... I wish Mattel would give me the option to just buy this kind of packaging all the time. Because especially with play sets, it's huge boxes for nothing. Just like 80% empty space. Whereas with this, all of the stuff that was inside was able to be consolidated down to basically the size of the bed. So it was great. I don't know what the one in stores is going to look like. There's probably going to be a window playset where everything is zip tied in and everything is posed very prettily. But for me, this is how I would prefer all of my playsets to come. So, I don't know. I think my favorite part of this playset has got to be the bed. I don't remember if I pointed it out or not. The bed actually has little claw feet. You guys can see that. It's a clawfoot bed, which is super cute. 
And it's not really, like, unstable, which is kind of nice. The, uh, you can lift it by the top, and it's not really going anywhere because you didn't have to put it together. But the canopy part does just unhook by the looks of it. Like this. So you could just have a four-poster bed if you wanted to fit it underneath a shelf or something. But I love the way this bed looks. So I'm going to definitely keep it in this formation. I'm kind of tempted to take the little uh, trees and the moon off. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep it like it is. I am a little disappointed that this circle pillow is molded into the bed because I didn't think it was going to be. I thought it was gonna be separate, but it's not. It, it is molded into it. It's a separate piece, but it's a snap-in piece. So you can't really like take it out and move it around, which is a little sad for me because I love the posability of it. So, it looks great. You've got seating potentially for four dolls. I'll show more of this as I get the creepover dolls. So, hopefully that will be soon. But if y'all have any questions about these, let me know in the comments. If there's anything you feel I didn't touch on, again, here's another look at the stickers. I won't use stickers. I just keep them. Um, but... Great playset, a little overpriced, but, you know, it's the Monster High reboot. We are paying for the name and the quality, but I'm ready for it. If this is the kind of stuff we're getting for the next few sets, I'm here. I would love to see, there's supposed to be a Laguna Hair Studio... And a, oh gosh, I think it's a Claudine, like, closet or something like that. Like, fashion closet. And not to mention, we're going to get the, uh, the spooktacular, like, surprise ones uh, that have the lockers, which I'm really looking forward to getting those because they look awesome. Not only the fashions are super cute, but I love getting those extra pieces, like the big locker pieces, because the last Monster High lockers that we got were like this, and there were two of them. We got one that was about this big, where it was like, I think like eight inches tall or something like that, but those all came in the big Monster High play sets. I am looking forward to seeing if they're going to do a Monster High house to compete with like the Rainbow High dorm house. I would love to see that. Because the last time they did the Monster High, the big playset thing, it was huge. But it wasn't conveniently huge. It was just kind of a sprawl. So I'm hoping they've learned their lessons from that and design it more in the style of Barbie. To where everything's kind of, you know, compact in the same area, but they can give us more detail. So if you enjoyed the video, leave me a like. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching, y'all. Be good. Bye.